So we decided to create a 12 step group specifically for parental alienation, and it's adapted from Al-Anon, which is basically the sister group to Alcoholics, Alcoholics Anonymous. So we use the same 12 steps, which are originally from AA, but we adapt them to parental alienation anonymous and it's a recovery group it's about recovering our lives recovering our sanity in order to go out into the world and, and be a little bit more um available to and when we get opportunities with our children so it's 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 a recovery group and i got involved because you know the pain is just too great to do by yourself you know it's suffocating out there it's isolating it's lonely it's scary and uh, I didn't want to do it by myself anymore. So, so that's kind of how the group kind of got started. Um, so when a person comes to your program, what can they expect from the program? Like what happens, what, what is the process? What happens in the program? Can you be more specific? Yeah, I'll give you some specifics and then I'll let Catherine answer the same question as well as someone that came to a meeting and has a little different perspective. So when okay. you come to a 12 step meeting, it's basically exactly like we're doing right here where there's a, a group of us on Zoom there's a leader for a meeting and the leader has a script that they read. So there's this consistency from meeting to meeting. And we go through just introducing what parental alienation is, what we're all doing here, what recovery looks like. And then there's a secretary that basically is doing your job, which kind of holds the safety with the meeting and make sure that everything flows really well. And the secretary makes some announcements, some resources and different things that the group has. And then the leader will jump in and they'll share part of their story based and around some form of recovery. So this isn't just about talking about and being stuck in, in our narratives, which is so easy to be just in that one place. It's really working through some of the stuff and getting support in, in a different kind of way. And after the leader shares, everyone in the group has an opportunity to A, volunteer to share, B, just sit quietly and just listen. And uh, once everyone's gone through sharing, we have some prompts to, to dive a little bit deeper into the topic of folks who are interested in doing that. And then we wrap up the meeting and before every meeting and after every meeting, there's like a fellowship period where there is no structure and we can just hang out and talk about whatever comes up or people have questions or different stuff like that. And that's like a, a really high wide view of what we do. And I think Catherine would be great to share what it, what it was like showing up with no 12 step experience to a meeting. Sure. And go ahead, Catherine. Yes. Um, so just to kind of backtrack a bit, uh, Monique, for your question poses, um, you know, how did I become interested in it? Okay. Um, for, for me as someone who didn't have um, knowledge of 12 step um, and for the length that I had been experiencing parental alienation in my life, I was the I was looking for something more. I had plateaued with all the um, stuff that I was doing to take care of myself. Um, and, and something happened that triggered the awareness that I needed something. I needed something more. So doing a search, I came across the program and I was like, great, let's, let's see. So my first experience into the program was just so profound um, for, for me. Uh, what could I expect from the program? I'll tell you the first instance of walking through was I, f I felt like a weight had been lifted. I didn't need to explain what parental alienation was. I didn't have to um, take the time and energy to educate or defend myself. It, it was just, it was like a starting point that I could start working on my recovery. And what that, what recovery means is that I didn't have to stay in that spot of pain. I didn't have to stay in that pot, uh, spot of suffering. And by the end of my first meeting, um, it, it, it want, it, there was a need for me to go back. And, and see where, where that could take me. So that's, that was, that's my experience. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, definitely. That's what, what I, I, I got from my first meeting. I never had uh, taken part in any 12-step program before. 